hello guys and welcome to dtwg the prep welcome okay so today we're going to be taking um a proportion this is under the gd crash course okay i've done rates i've done ratio so this will be on proportion okay so uh, i have five questions here that we're going to um, solve together on proportions and these are the u.s cost, uh, customary units which uh, most times they do ask in your GED te test to, you know, convert ounces to pounds and minutes to hours, okay? Um, so, uh, this is what we're going to do. Before we get, get onto the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, help us grow. And also you can check our website for summary notes, study guides, and practice questions. That's um, dtwgedprep.com. you get all this. And also you can join our Facebook group. Okay, uh, we're over 10,000 now in our community to support you. Any questions you have about the GED in your state, um, this is a very large, friendly community that would support you in getting your GED. Okay, so I would um, encourage you to join. I'll leave all links in the video description box and every other resources that uh, would help you. Um, I'll leave them in the video description box of this video. And... Um, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one math tutoring, you can also contact me. I'll leave my details in the video description box too. All right, so let's get on to this video now. So what are proportions? They're just equations involving equal ratios or rates, okay? So often uh, pr uh, problems with proportion will require you to find a missing value just like this. If the missing value X, usually shown as X of some other letter. It can be any letter. and what we do mostly proportion is cross multiplying and you're going to see how we're going to do it in this um this is like a gd practice test sample uh, question okay so we're going to do it in this okay this examples here so the first this first example here says a car is traveling at a rate when you see rates you know i've done rates so please do watch that video a rate of 60 miles per hour it means this per hour is per one hour that's rate so 60 miles per hour you say if this rate is maintained how long will it take the car to travel 18 miles so you know proportion you know is it is involves equal ratios so here the ratio here is miles to r so we write miles to r okay so the first ratio here is 60 miles to 1 r and the next ratio, as we said, it is two ratios, involves equal ratios, okay? So the next is, the question now says, how long will it take the car to travel 80 miles? So 80 is miles. So we're looking for how long? We're looking for the R. So this is X for 80 miles. We know that 60 miles is one R. So how many um, R will be what? 180 miles so from here as we see proportion involves what cross multiplying so we cross multiply so this multiplies this this multiplies this the denominator here multiplies the one opposite it across the equal to sign why the denominator on this side multiplies um the the number on the numerator you know across the equal to sign so this would be x times 60 that will give us 60x equal to 1 times uh, 180. That will also be 180. So we divide by 60. To get x, you have to divide both sides by 60. You know, when you have an equal to sign, whatever you do on this side, you must do here. So to cancel this 60 here to get our x, we divide by 60. So when we divide by 60 here, we also have to divide by 60 here. So this cancels. We have x equal to 180 divided by 60 would give us what? 3. So this, and the unit is what? 3 what hours. So it will take 3 hours to travel what? 180 miles. So this is the answer here. We're going to do another example again. Okay, so this says the ratio of links to images. So the ratio is what? Links to images. So first, the first thing is getting your ratio right okay getting your ratio right so links to images on a website is three to ten three ratio ten means three over ten okay now it says if there are 500 images on the website how many links does it contain so 
This will be this is the first ratio, which will be equal to 500 images on the website. How many links does it contain? So we're looking for links, right? So links will be up while images would go down. This is links to images. Are you getting it? So the first thing is getting your ratio right, links to images, so that you can, you know, put in your values well. So images goes to the what denominator, so 500 comes here. So from here, we can now resolve our x, solve x by doing what? We cross multiply. So 500 multiplies 3, 10 multiplies x. So 500 times 3, that would give us 150 equal to 10 times x. That would give us what? 10x. And to get uh, x, we divide both sides by 10. Divide by 10. This cancels. This uh, one zero here cancels one zero here. Let's come down here. So we have 150 equal to x, which is what x, same thing as x equal to 150. And what is x is what links. So we have 150 links. So for 500 images, we are going to have 150 links. This is the answer for this question. Let's do another one here. It says, what is the value of x if the 3 over 4 is equal to x over 12. This is straightforward. Okay, so it's just a proportion sample. You could see this in the test. Okay, so we just cross multiply. Same as we do 12 times um, 12 times 3 it becomes what? 36 equal to 4 times x becomes what? 4x. Okay, so which wherever x is, you just cross multiply and find x. Okay, so we divide here by 4 divide by 4. So 36 divided by 4, that will give us a 9 equal to what x. So here, our answer is x equal to 9. Can you see that? Now, sorry, I'm just quizzing out. So, you know, I just want to manage space so we have enough space to solve the remaining questions here. All right. So the, the fourth question says convert 64 ounces to pounds. So our ratio here is ounces pounds okay so now uh from our us the customary units one pound is 16 ounce okay so there are some major um things you should at least have uh have in mind okay when you're going for your test um they usually ask they could say convert feet okay i think the ones you should really really put in your mind is feet pounds and your time you should know one minute is 60 seconds you should know one hour is 60 minutes you get my point okay and also for your uh you know you should know what a quarter dollar is you should know what a dime is and all that okay you should know that okay so because there would there might be what problems that would come in that fashion say convert um the feet to inches so if you know that one feet is 12 inch uh one pound is 16 ounces sometimes they do give a hint in the question okay for the conversion so coming back here so here one pound is what 16 ounces our ratio is ounces to what pounds so here um 16 ounce to pounds so that's uh our first ratio is 16 64 to pounds so we're looking for the pounds right so that will be x right equal to uh conversion is one pound to 16 ounce but for my ratio our ratio says 16 ounces first over one one pound is what 16 ounces so we do it as our ratio is so 16 ounces over one one pound okay so from here we can cross multiply so one times this and x times 16 so we have uh, 1 times 64, that's still 64. X times 16 is what? 16X. To get X, we divide both sides by 16. This gives us 4X. So X is equal to what? 4 pounds. Okay? So 64 ounces would give us how many pounds? 4 pounds. You can see how we did this conversion. Okay? So it's just following um, your ratio. Are you getting my point? Okay? So now the next one is how many minutes are equal to two one third hours? Okay, so minutes to hours. We're looking for uh, this is minutes. So this is minutes to hours because how many minutes are equal to this? So our ratio is what minutes. Let me abbreviate this to hours. Okay, 
So our first uh, ratio is, uh, uh, we're looking for minutes, right? So that will be x over 2 one third as equal to, okay, our second ratio, how many, uh -huh, 60 minutes makes what? 1 hour. So we do 60 over 1 minutes would go up don't make the mistake of putting because we have confirmed this is this as our ratio so we should not make the mistake of putting one up and 60 down no because the one represents uh which is not which is not this is not uh this is minutes here it's the same thing that happened here are you seeing what happened also here we have ounces over pounds but when we care uh, when we came here 16 no you know i don't want you to be confused because 16 ounces is here and we're putting 16 up not one one not one first okay so we follow the ratio 16 ounces up why pounds is what down why here 60 minutes is up why hours is what down so 60 minutes to one hour so here we cross multiply so one times this this gives us what x equal to 60 times two whole number one over three so we can you know this is a um, mixed fraction let's so let's do to uh, convert to improper fraction and that will be two uh, three times two that's six plus one that's seven so we have let me write this here 60 times seven over three so we'll convert to what improper fraction so from here we can cancel out right three will go here one and three will go in 60 how many times 20 times so we have 20 times seven that will give us what one 40 and you know we're looking for minutes so our answer is what 140 minutes okay so uh how many minutes are equal to this is 140 minutes are equal to two one third hours okay i know this is a bit lengthy video but you know i have to do this because most times you do get questions on proportion all right so thank you for staying to the end of this video and um i'm gonna leave the list you know i've been doing the gd crash cross uh i'll leave the playlist in the video description box so you can watch other videos prerequisite to proportion so it will help your understanding okay so thank you and don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth he's the life He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. At last, okay. There's a life. There's life after death, and in Him we find eternity. In Him we find peace, even here on earth. We find our heaven on earth, even in Jesus Christ. So, you know, open the door for Him, and He will lead you to that green pastures that we dream of. All right. So thank you, and see you in our next video.